I just wanted to be in band. Like many other teenagers inside Northwest High School, Tabitha Noel Ratcliffe marches to the beat of her own drum. Didn't want to do choir, didn't want to do any of the other stuff, so I wanted to do band. Determined to master the French horn and mellophone, Tabitha's got a pretty good grip on how it all works. It's like the air goes in this way, but then there's all these tubings and then there's blockages to the air. The way Tabitha does it is a little different than everybody else. Born with complete movement in her right arm, Tabitha's right hand and fingers didn't fully develop. My muscles are smaller, my bones are smaller, then you know I don't have any bone right here. This wasn't enough to keep her from playing, but things got a bit trickier when she joined the marching band. A little bit more bumps up and down makes it harder to play and also it's just harder to balance. Little did she know that a fellow STEM classmate had the solution. It was very an exciting challenge and I was ready to get into it. 16 year old Clark Strong didn't know much about the mellophone until a couple of weeks ago when his robotics teacher told him about Tabitha. And she needed something that was able to support weight. This wasn't a school project, mm -hmm. just a favor for a freshman. Because she's not playing this at a straight angle. Using the 3D printer he has at his house, the high school junior made this. I did it on my own time in between homework and studying. If there weren't people that did stuff out of the kindness of their heart, I wouldn't have a prosthetic and... A heart for helping a stranger, but also a heart for his grandfather, the man who introduced Clark to 3D printing. It's said that he passed away a little over a year ago, and it has been very helpful to be able to sort of carry on his legacy in this 3D printing. In Justin, I'm Ariel Placencia.